Let's look at all of the keyboard shortcuts that macOS provides you for navigating text. Well, maybe not all of them, just the ones that I use the most often. So the first one is Command with the arrow keys. So let's start by pressing Command up. will take us right to the start. You can see it took us right here. Or Command down will take us to the very end. So that's the very start of all of the text and the very end of all of the text. Now, command left and right will take us to the start and end of the line that we're currently on. So if I move up to this one, I can go command back and forth to get here. And just arrow keys without uh, the use of command, we move around character by character. Now, if I press option, and option up and down does basically the same thing as command, but that's not the one that matters. So option left and right will navigate by word here. So I can move around this text by word holding the option and the arrow keys. Another thing that's helpful is if I hold shift and use the arrow keys, I can highlight some text like this. And that works in combination with the other things. So shift plus alt will highlight by words and shift plus command will highlight to the start and end of the line. So we can use command to sort of jump around on major movements, so to the start and end of lines. Alt jumps by word, and shift allows us to highlight things at the same time. Now, if you're using a Apple laptop, you have the delete key, which deletes the character in front of the cursor like that. If you want to delete the character that comes after, you hold down the function key and then press delete, and the delete works in the other direction. Now you'll notice here that I hit delete. If I wanted to undo that, I would press command Z, or if I wanted to redo that, it's command shift Z, which would redo that text. Now say I wanted to find a word in this document. So I would press command F, F, and let's say we search for the word text. So it's gonna highlight it here. Now that I found one result, if I press Command G, I'll move to the next one, and Command G will go to the next one. And it'll loop around, keep going. But if I want to go backwards, I can press Command Shift G, and that will navigate through the search results backwards. And if you ever want to stop finding something, if you're done finding something, you can press Escape, and you'll sort of exit out of the Find Results thing. And I believe the last keyboard shortcuts that I want to show you are copy and pasting. So I'm gonna select this here using only the keyboard shortcuts. And if I press Command C, I copy that. I can then go over here and paste it a couple times like this. Um, and then maybe uh, three is too many. So I take this and I press Command X. That's gonna delete it from here. And maybe I would put it down here with Command V like that. So Command C, is going to copy some text and leave it there, copy. Command V is going to take whatever you previously copied and put it where your cursor is. And Command X will remove it from that location uh, when you press the shortcut key.